Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going to be making sourdough pretzels from Discard. Now, I have my super happy sourdough starter here. Um, it's Monday and I've been pulling it out to feed it out of the fridge on Monday. Um, if that's, that's a good day for me. I don't need bread daily because it's just two of us, so once a week is fine. So I pulled it out this morning and I fed it. I let it sit for about five hours in the cupboard there. And then I pulled some out and made some um, sourdough bread. And I have that, I'm making an overnight bread. So it is done and sitting in a bowl and ready to bake off tomorrow. I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours. and. Before I, what was left over from the discard, we're making pretzels. So good. Sourdough pretzels from discard. You are going to love this recipe. Let me show you how I make them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do in this bowl is put in four cups of bread flour. Let me use the rest of this bag up here. I don't know if there's two cups in there. This is a two cup measuring cup. Okay, so that's two cups. Two cups there. Let me get my next bag open. Okay, there's my other two cups. To my flour, I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of yeast. This is just the instant dry yeast. I keep it in the freezer. All right, so there's my two teaspoons of yeast. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. So my one tablespoon of sugar. I'm just going to mix this up with my dough hook just to get that stuff incorporated. In the meantime, I have heated up one cup of milk, um, slightly scalding it. And I am going to add my discard to that. And I'm going to be using a half a cup of discard. I've got about a cup of discard here, so I've got to figure out what to do with the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this on, um, the first speed, and then I have here, if you can see it, this is my one cup of warmed milk. Um, I scalded it in the microwave, and my starter, my half a cup of starter. So I'm just adding it slowly. Okay, so this is kneaded. 
Now you need this until it's still going to be a little bit tacky, but if you can see, the sides of my bowl are clean. And he's still a little bit tacky of a dough, so that's what you're looking for for this pretzel dough. I am now going to oil this bowl and I'm going to put it someplace warm. Okay, there's just a little bit of canola oil. Get him into a ball here. You want my... So I'm going to throw a cover on this. And I'm just going to stick it in the oven and with my oven light on and let it rise for a couple hours. See you in two hours. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. I sat down too hard and it started to deflate. <laughs> Take my rings off here. <clears throat> put some bread flour down. Oop, I got to put my apron back on. All right, so this is where... The first fun part of making pretzels comes along. Bench scraper out. We are going to make big old fashioned jumbo pretzels. So, get this out. I am going to cut this into eight pieces. If you want to get technical and um, weigh them out, you can do that. I am just going to wing it. Okay, eight pieces. Now, this is where we are going to roll them in pretzel shape. So, you can decide from here if, um, I don't want too much if you want the classic pretzel shape or if you want to make pretzel bites or just pretzel sticks. That is up to you. So I'm just gonna kinda roll them. Little bit more. I don't want to get too much flour here. Yeah, maybe I need my ends a little thinner. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put them together and twist them. And this is going to be the shape of my pretzel. You can decide if you'd like to do the pretzel sticks. And if you do that, then you could probably cut them in half and get twice as many pretzels, especially if you want to make dippers. Or you can roll the log out and cut them and make the little pretzel bites so that you can make some fondue with them. I've got two sheets over here and I have lined them with parchment paper and I'm just going to put four on each. Making pretzels was like one of my very favorite things to do when I was a kid. <laughs> I can remember being a mom, I was like in second grade and second grade was the first time I ever made a homemade pretzel and from then on I was hooked. Um, so I love homemade pretzels. Now, granted, I have never made them with sourdough before. So this is my first sourdough pretzel, but I've made a lot of pretzels.
There's this um, restaurant downtown Phoenix on like Second Street in Jefferson. It's called The Arrogant Butcher. I absolutely love The Arrogant Butcher. It's one of my favorite places. Of course, I have a lot of favorite places, right? It's Phoenix. We're total food city here. But one of their appetizers is pretzel bites and provolone fondue. Man, do I love that. <laughs> I have to get that every time we go. Okay, put this guy up here. All right, I have all these guys ready. I'm just going to give them a quick cover. And I'm going to put them back in the oven with the oven light on. And I'm going to give them about 45 minutes to an hour. And then we'll be back. Okay, while my um, pretzels are in the oven rising, I'm going to make two kinds of seasonings. So my pretzels, I'll do some of them plain. Some of them I'm going to do with an Italian seasoning. And some of them I'm going to do with an everything but the poppy seed bagel seasoning and it's everything but the poppy seed because i don't like poppy seeds <laughs> so let's start out with that one first i am using i'm gonna put in like oh i'm gonna start out with like a half a tablespoon of kosher salt i would use sea salt but i my sea salt in bigger it's, it's a little bit bigger because i put it in my grinder um, but if you have flake sea salt, that would work great. So I'm going to start out with a half a tablespoon there first because I don't want it too salty. And then I'm going to use... Oh, a half a teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds. Oops. I'm making a huge mess today. And a half a... <laughs> half a teaspoon of black sesame seeds. I just spilled them everywhere. Now, I'm going to put in, I have some dehydrated minced onion. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in. And then I have um, freeze-dried garlic. And I'm going to pop that in there in about a, <laughs> a heavy teaspoon. And then I'm just gonna take the back of my measuring spoon and crush my garlic a little bit. <laughs> mm, I just made a huge mess just making a seasoning mix. That cracks me up. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more black sesame in, just for the color, I think, to replace the poppy seed. <laughs> okay. So there is my seasoning. I may add a little bit more salt to the top of the pretzels. Um, I just don't, I don't know how salty this is going to be and I don't want it to be too salty. So I'll check it when we're putting it on. So there's that one. Next one, we're going to do the Italian seasoning. Again, I'm going to use about a half a tablespoon of kosher salt. And then I'm going to use a teaspoon of Italian herbs. And I just want to break them up. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, there's my Italian seasoning. To my Italian seasoning, I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm putting a whole teaspoon of garlic powder. 
Charlotte powder being my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> and then I have some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put a good full-size rounded tablespoon in. Okay, so there's my Italian seasoning, my everything but the poppy seed bagel seasoning, and then I just have regular salt here for the bagels I'm going to leave plain. So I'll see you in a few. All right, I have pulled these out of the oven, and they have risen, and they look beautiful. I'm going to do maybe two at a time. But we are going to put these in boiling water. My water is boiling here. Now, to this water, we need to make it alkaline. So I am going to add two big tablespoons of baking soda. Get this at a rolling boil again. Shouldn't take long. Okay, we're gonna very carefully put in our pretzel. And find a error. I think we might be able to do all four at a time here. Okay, maybe three. Three is safer. So we're going to put it in and, and boil them like this for about 45 seconds. Now I am going to flip them each over and we're going to do 45 seconds more. Spatula and a chopstick. <laughs> I've got my um, timer on my phone watching it. <laughs> okay, done. I'm just going to drain these on a clean tea towel here. Next three. Got my timer on. Put my pretzels back on the We're going to flip these over, 45 more seconds. Okay, start. Okay, take these guys out.
Now, last two here. Forty-five seconds. And while I'm waiting for that forty-five seconds, while these are still wet, I'm gonna put my Italian seasoning over the top here. Oop, you can't see here. I'm gonna do these three with Italian. And I am going heavy handed with my Italian just to use it up. And because it'll be delicious. Okay, there is my timer. I'm going to flip these guys. Need my chopstick. This one I just can't flip. Okay. Gosh darn it, messed up my timer. Okay, we'll get that guy off of there. Okay, turn this off and get these guys out. Over here, I'm going to put my everything bagel. I'm not going to go quite as heavy handed as I did with the Italian because the Italian had cheese. But this might need a little bit more salt, so I'll probably put more salt on it. Okay, I'm just going to put a smidge more salt on these because they are pretzels. You don't have to flavor your pretzels at all. You can do them completely plain. Um, if you want to just put salt, I'm going to put just plain salt on these last two. But you could just do that. You could just do sesame seeds, whatever you want to do. Okay. I have my oven on 400. I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Um, I'm going to start checking it at 18 minutes, but it takes about 18 to 24 minutes depending on your oven. Okay, the pretzels are done and out of the oven. Mine took 18 minutes on convection, but look how beautiful and brown they are. And crunchy. Oh, I can't wait for them to cool off. These pretzels are so good, I can't stop eating it. Um, the dough is really good. I really like these sourdough pretzels. Excellent way to use up discard, not just in pancakes or muffins, but homemade sourdough pretzels. And you can put whatever toppings on you like. This one is the everything bagel, but I did make an Italian one. You could put just sesame seeds. You could do like triple onion with like dehydrated green, red, and or purple onion and you know yellow onion. <laughs> um, just. <clears throat> Just garlic if you like it, or you can just do plain old salt on your pretzel. You can make dips to go along with these, cheese dips, an Italian dip, um, maybe a, a homemade marinara sauce to go with them if you've put the Italian seasoning on. So many things you could do. Or like I said when I was making them, if you make the little bites, then you can make fondue and dip them in. So good. I love pretzels. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.